Okay, thank you all again for coming. Um, we're going to have a, a few words from the Commissioner and from uh, Mr. Smith, uh, and then we'll have our minute of silence. Uh, so over to you, Commissioner. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is now the ninth time that we've held this memorial. Um, and if I didn't know better, I would say someone is looking down on us and smiling right now. This is this is really a beautiful day, which is a poignant backdrop if you consider the circumstances behind the reason we're gathered here today. Certainly, to my mind, there's three things that come out of why we do this every year. And the first is to provide an opportunity to celebrate the, the memory and to remember our our four colleagues that were lost in Hurricane Fabian. The second reason is, from a police perspective, is to demonstrate what it means to be part of an extended family. We talk about the police family all the time, and for me, this is what it means. We, we, we have brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers that are all part of our organization, and by extension, you are all part of our organization, and we are part of your families as well. And the third reason for me is when you look at all of the other people that are not associated um, by blood or relationship, then for me that's a sign that this is the police as part of the wider community. And it really drives home the point to me that no matter what it is that we're dealing with, whether it's a recession, gang problems or hurricanes, we truly are all in this together. And that's the third thing that, that really sticks out for me in my mind every time that I that I come down on the anniversary. I think the other thing to mention very very quickly is none of this would happen if it were not for the efforts of a few people that every year bring us all together. Certainly the families themselves and the fact that you allow us to have this memorial, the um, September 5th Foundation, Jonathan Smith, uh, Craig Morford, Jeff Barron, and others. I apologize for the for you now. The long riders who come up every year and cause the bikes up and get ready for the road. dignity that it, that it deserves. So on that note, just a few brief remarks from me. Thank you once again to everyone. Thanks very much, Commissioner. On behalf of the Foundation, I too would like to give some thanks. I do apologize in advance if it sounds a bit repetitive, but it's, it's, a, it's a real partnership that we forged over the last few years between the Bermuda Police Service and the Foundation. So it's appropriate that we too, on behalf of the Foundation, extend our thanks. I'll start off with the two other members of the Foundation who are here with me today. To my right, uh, Jeff Barron, who's been with us since day one, nine years ago. And Craig, Craig Morford, who works tirelessly on behalf of the Foundation to make this event a reality every year. This obviously also thanks due to everybody who makes the trek here every single year to honor the four lives that we lost. Because as we wake up each day, and the decisions we make during the day, one of the decisions we make on this day every nine years is to carve out a piece of our day to come here. And why do we do that? It's because we're honoring the lives of four people who we all knew in one way or another. We honor their memory, and we honor the people that they would have become had they survived that fateful day nine years ago. And that's the importance that we place on a human life to come back year after year and cherish the part that they played in shaping our own lives. The critical job of the foundation right from inception was to raise funds. And as we all know, there are at this stage four potential recipients of those funds two children who lost parents and the two grandchildren 
who lost grandparents. And that's why each year all the funds that are raised uh, from, the, from the early days, we had quite a few corporate donations and private donations, and in the years since it's primarily been from the, the sale of the pens. This year we've handed out an extra little slip of paper just to ask everybody here today if they could also consider making another donation, if you can, directly to the September, Foundation, September 5th Foundation Fund, which is at the Capital G Bank, the numbers on the form. The reason we've done that this year is next year is our 10th anniversary. And next year is also the very first year that Stephen, oh, if you keep your grades up, Stephen, <laughs> that Stephen is going to benefit from the work that we've done as a foundation for all these years because Stephen will be headed to higher level education next year. So the directors will be very pleased to give out the first endowment funds from, for, to help Stephen's education. And there's another child to follow and there's two other grandchildren that are younger. But that's why we're here at the end of the day and that's why we, we give of our time and we've given of our funds to make this foundation reality. I'll finish on, on this note. I mentioned just very briefly that next year is our 10th, 10th anniversary. So we'll be looking to do something a little different next year, a little more special next year. We don't quite know what it is yet, but the directors will all confer and we'll speak to the long riders and we'll just try to uh, just do something a little different for next year to mark the special event being our 10th anniversary. Uh, Craig will now lead us in minutes of silence and then there's a couple of housekeep housekeeping issues about what happens after this event today the sale of some pins but I'll leave that to Craig. Just my final words on behalf of all the directors who are here in the foundation. <coughs> thank you so much for once again coming out and supporting this cause. Thanks so much. Okay so uh, thanks for that um, as is customary every year, um, we're going to hold a minute of silence so that uh, people can reflect in their own way uh, on, on those that we've lost and loved. Um, so we're going to start that minute of silence now. here for a, a little while longer, give uh, everybody a chance to chat and meet. Uh, if anybody didn't get to buy the pins for this year's ride, we still have a few left. Um, additionally, one of the things we're looking at doing next year for the 10th anniversary, just a, a little way of giving something back to all of you that have been coming out every year and, and buying the pins every year, we're probably going to have a few gift prizes. Um, we're, and the ones who have the most pins collected showing the, the years of contribution uh, of, of being a little draw for some, some gifts. That in mind, if anybody needs to catch up, I've got three years <laughs> back in. <laughs> but only three years. So if you missed the last two or three, they were all sellouts. Um, so we'll be, we'll be selling pins for the next five or ten minutes. Once, uh, once we form up, as usual, we're going to ride through St. George's, past the St. George's Police Station, which is where our colleagues were based at the time. Uh, and then we'll come back through and we'll head to the Police Recreation Club. The Commission has very kindly arranged um, for a reception there. So there is uh, some free food, another opportunity for us all to get together and chat and, and uh, remember. So uh, that's it as far as the official um, business here. Please feel free to mingle around the next five or ten minutes and uh, once you start hearing the bikes firing up, uh, make your way back to your bikes. But thank you.